The present Mongolians has a great ancient history and its descendants of the great Emperor Genghis Khan, who occupied the half of the world and was admired by his courage and strength. 13th century, Genghis Khan occupied and united many scattered small nations of Mongolia and in 1206 he established the United Mongolian State. Since then, Mongolia has passed about 700 years of history pages, met the People's Revolution in 1921 and started to establish a new society. The first state parliament meeting, held in 1924, ratified first constitution of Mongolia and declared its independence in the whole world. Mongolia, admired by its beautiful nature, national tradition and customs, is situated in the center of Central Asia and borders with Russian Federation on the north and People's Republic of China on the south. This white country, with the area of 1,565,000 1 square kilometers, this white country, with the area of 1,565,000 square kilometers, has a population of 2.5 million and it takes 18th place in the world by the size of the territory. Because of its severe continental weather, the temperature sometimes reaches over 40 Celsius in July and minus 50 Celsius in January. Mongolia is one of the countries with most blue sky and a long time of sunshine. The country is divided into 21 IMAX and the capital Ulaanbaatar. Mongolia is a parliamentary authorized country. The head of the state is president and the head of the government is the prime minister. The parliament ratifies laws and it consists of 76 members elected by the people. The term of the parliament authority is four years. The authority of only one party has expired and multi-party system is formed. There are about 10 political parties implementing their activities. Because of its situation between Central Asian Great Desert and Siberian Great Forest Taiga, it has plenty of beautiful landscape with specific secularities of nature. Besides this, it is one of the few countries which can keep their untainted nature because of its population spread. Mongolians are the people who have the ancient historical tradition to protect the nature the precious heritage inherited from the ancestors. It is an unwritten law for Mongolians to worship and protect the mountains, lakes, rivers and springs. Moreover, they build a Nova to keep the mountains, rivers and lakes grand and thin. Today, there are 42 state-protected areas, which cover about 11% of the total territory of Mongolia. Here we can see Hupsul Lake and its basins, one of Mongolian natural complexes which are worshipped as a mother sea. Hupsul Lake is 134 kilometers from its north edge to the south and 39 kilometers from west to east.
The area is 2,612 square kilometers and it is surrounded by Hortalsertig mountains on the northern part of Mongolia. Hubshil is the deepest lake in Central Asia and it takes second place in Asia and 14th in the world by its water reserves and conquires 1% of the world's fresh water. The lake's water is transparent, clean and its transparency reaches 24 meters. You can make acquaintance with unusual culture and lifestyle of reindeer breeders who don't live their ancient lifestyle in the forest of this country, which takes Mongolians and guests breath away. There is a beautiful land of Orkhtirilj, 60 kilometers from Ulaanbaatar, which is the continuation of Hinti Mountains, which consists of mountains, rocks, forests and rivers. There is a Milkihat, or turtle rock, a turtle-shaped rock, and some other wonderful landscapes, like monuments, built by people. It is not enough to experience Mongolian trip without feeling the beauty of Gobi. This time we are intending to introduce you Gobi Desert. Avgurun Sehan, or Three Beauties of Gobi, is located on the southern part of Mongolia, are separate three mountains, which last over 100 kilometers. There is Yolingam, strictly prohibited area with a narrow rock valley. Its height is about 200 meters and there you can see vultures and eagles flying, wild sheep, mountain goats sleeping and other amazing rare animals and birds. There are some beautiful landscapes of Hirmantzau, Bainzak, Tugurginshire which have the richest fossils of dinosaurs in the world. The rarest dinosaur fossils like clutched dinosaurs, dinosaur eggs and complete skeleton was first found from here. In 1922, giant dinosaurs fossil and eggs of the period before 70 to 80 million years ago were found and now it is kept in the Paleontology Museum in the United States of America. Also, when the congealed stones slipped to each other during the ancient movement, a big rock like mirror was formed. This rock was named Mirror Rock and it attracts people interests greatly. Hongringis with Gobi pure sand dunes last about 180 kilometers. Now you can see wonderful natural combination where the Gobi dinosaurs camels on the pasture between the sand dunes. The Gobi people are proud of its endless yellow sand pleasant smell of trees and grasses, mirage and the camel flock, which is rare in the world. Mongolalta Mountains, on the northwest of Mongolia, lasts 900 kilometers. Snow-capped mountain of Alta Taumbaut will welcome you one by one. If you are tired of climbing the high mountains, tasting the fresh water under the Gobi sun, 
Eastern Mongolian White Steppes will dispel your tiredness. Eastern Steppe is one of the few lands with great reserves of pasture, which is untainted and in its original figure. Here live cranes, bastards, pheasants, which are very rare in Mongolia, and 70% of Central Asian white-tailed gazelles. Mongolia is rich of fauna. There are 1,500 species of insects, about 300 species of reptiles, 80 species of fishes, 450 species of birds, and 140 species of mammals. The most abundant is gazelle, and plenty of marmots, foxes, wolves, bears, and deers. Some of these animals are registered in the International Red Book because of its rareness. Also, in this territory you can find 19 species of animals and birds such as Przewalski horse, deer, reindeer, elk, gobi bear, wild sheep, mountain goat, which are prohibited for hunting. The first capital of Mongolia was called Ihurgo, and it was a home to Tsanwazar, who had been proclaimed the head of the Buddhism in Mongolia. Since 1639, the capital city moved 30 times to another place, and in 1778 it has settled in the territory where now Ulaanbaatar locates. In 1924, first state parliament meeting made a decision to name the capital city to Ulaanbaatar and was declared the official capital of Mongolia. Today, 40% of Mongolian population live in the capital city. The capital carries out 39% of industrial products, 50% of the construction work, 85% of energy production, and 50% of investment. Mongolian government house is situated in the heart of the city. Sukhobata's monument is located in front of the government house. Sukhobata led 1921's National Revolution and played an important role in Mongolian independence process. Sukhobata Square is a place where public shows and festivals are being held regularly. State Department Store is the biggest trade and service center in Ulaanbaatar. Here you can find many kinds of products such as popular electronic products and foreign and national goods. Also, there are traditional products, souvenirs, felt arts, and national clothes, especially for tourists visiting Mongolia. Modern clothes and products made by soft and puffy cashmere, carpets made of pure wool, and clothes made of skin and hides of the livestock always attract attention at the international exhibitions and shows. In recent years, numbers of international entities who work corporately with Mongolian companies are raising. Now you can see a part of the National Costumes Show, which is being successfully organized in many countries of the world. The costumes are designed by talented designers of Torok or Silk Salon. Hotels and tourist camps play an important role in tourism. They are responsible for the comfortable and secure stay of the foreign guests. Today, 
116 big and small hotels in Olambate city and over 150 hotels in the countryside operating their activities. The most popular hotels are Chinggishang, Ulaanbaatar and Bayangol and there are many tourist camps where you can see Mongolian national style. The male indicator of every country is stable function of the banking and financial organizations. State and private banks of Mongolia are rendering fast, reliable service satisfying at the international standard. Mongolian people's lives closely connected to livestock. From the ancient times, people get their living from the productivity of their livestock. Mongolian gear is ideally suited to the country's extremes of climate and the people's nomadic way of life. It is a multi-purpose dwelling that can be easily collapsed, transported to another place and put up again fully, preserving its original shape. The gear has two components, the wooden framework and the felt cover. Herders find their life source by trading their meat, meal and other products. There are over tens of Buddhist monasteries in Ulaanbaatar city. At the center of the main monastery Kandan there is a 20 meters high statue of Mijit Chandrasek, God, which was erected from a piety, affection and artistic ability of the Mongolians. The monastery has a presently about 150 monks and Buddhist school. The Kandan Tichlung monastery is the central place for major religious ceremonies and festivals, including some dance, a theatralized performance. Buddha complex, which is located on the southern part of Ulaanbaatar city, is a place where religious scriptures are recited and God's theory is being introduced to public. Buddha teacher's statue of 30 meters is a place where tourists and Mongolians itself like to visit. Tsagansar, meaning white month or white moon, is one of two big public annual events next to the Nadam. It marks the end of winter and the beginning of the New Year's cycle. On the morning of the New Year, traditionally, the head of the family goes outside and walks in a direction which is prescribed in a book of Buddhist astrology. During New Year itself, children honor their senior relatives. They start with their parents and then following the rules of genealogical seniority the other relatives, presenting them an amount of white food or pastry. White and blue scarves, 
Katak are presented to the most honored. There is a big amount of covered food where the meat is covered, for instance, a layer of duck. Also, national pastries made in a mood and milk products are being placed on the table. Every family prepares and treats their guests by national food boards, mare milk and dairy products. Everyone has to try all the dishes. There is a tradition to exchange snuffs and gossip during the Tsaransar. After treating the guest, head of the family makes a present and sees the guest off. The national sports festival is called Nadam and it is celebrated every year on July 11th. Since 1921, Nadam is held in coincidence with the national holiday or day of People's Revolution on July 11th, marking the events which led to Mongolian independence. Wrestling, archery and horse racing are the three main games of men which are rooted in the mists of antiquity and continue to be very popular among the Mongols today. The opening ceremony of the manly three games includes locating honorary symbol of Chinggis Han, nine white flags at the center of the stadium, military parade and presidential speech. During the parade, national artists and all nationalities of Mongolia who are dressed in their national costumes perform their performances. Manly three games start with wrestling which is one of the favorite sports of Mongolians. The wrestlers wear heavy boots, a very small tight-fitting loincloth, a pair of sleeves which meet across the back of the shoulders, resembling a tiny vestige of a jacket and a pointed cap of velvet. The winners of the tournament receive honorary titles and are also awarded various souvenirs. But for them, the main award is a truly nationwide popularity and the fame that they gain. <laughs> Mongolians are proud of their archers who are trying out their accuracies. Archers from 8 to 80 years prepare their bow and arrows to compete who has the sharpest sight and most accurate shooting. The one who scores the most points is the winner and the title of super marksman is bestowed on him or her. The horses for Nadam races are selected a month before the big day. Then they are taken to an adequate pasture separate from the herd and trained. Race horses are divided into several age groups, 2, 4 and 5 years old, over 5 years old and stallions. The riders are aged from 5 to 12. Mongolian children of these ages are good riders as both boys and girls have been riding since infancy. Everyone impatiently waiting whose and what kind of horse will win the 25 to 30 kilometers of distance. Mongolians say that the dust came from the winning horse will inspire them in the coming year. Nadam, a traditional festival which continues for two days, is the most interesting days not only for Mongolians, but also for tourists. State drama theater and classical art theaters are compiling famous shows and corporately work with artists from all over the world. 
folk art ensemble artists are introducing national culture wonders by traveling to many countries of the world. The most amazing art is long song, homey sound, contortion and marihur. Homey singing is a traditional form of song which comes from the deep in the throat. Long song is another form of vocal music, so called because of their length. The most traditional of instruments is the marihur or horse fiddle with two strings. Exhibition is one of the interesting things to see. At the Natural Museum you can introduce with the collection of dinosaur bones, eggs and the most big toes in the world. All these were found from the Gobi Desert. Year to year, number of exhibits at the museum rises. Winter Palace of the last Mongolian ruler, the 8th Bahutang, attracts tourists' attention properly. At the palace, you can see clothes, amazing and rare collection, which was used by the Bahutang, Mongolian Historical Museum, Natural Museum and Chochen Lama's Museum are also rich of rare exhibits. Fine Arts Museum is dedicated to paintings religious arts and artifacts. You will find a wonderful collection of archaeological artifacts from Hung period and panel embroidery. The museum also has two unique thumb dance masks, lavishly decorated with deep purple corals. The ruins of Harharin, ancient capital city of Mongolia, Irtindo Monastery, the holy place of Buddhism are proofs of the long history of Mongolian development achievements. There is a homestead of Avtasa Khan who preserved the heart of Genghis Khan from generation to generation. As you visit Irtinzo Monastery, you can find out much more about the long complicated history of Mongolian as usual and therefore most of the tourists and travelers coming to Mongolia, leave for this place. We tried to introduce you with Mongolian people, the earth they worship, history and culture of the country, which is located at the heart of Asia. Every year, number of tourists visiting Mongolia increases greatly. Tourists are interested to visit and introduce with the motherland of great Genghis Khan, who occupied half of the world. Also. Historical places, wild nature, hospitable character of Mongolians, traditional culture attracts interests of foreign tourists to Mongolia. Because of interesting activities held by tourism companies, lots of tourists attract to Mongolia. For example, during summer or winter seasons, tourists are able to ride horses, yaks, to see camel and yak polo, ice festival, Erek or mare's milk festival, ethnic group festivals and mini Adam. We are inviting you to visit Mongolia, white territorial country with the kind-minded people. Welcome to our Mongolia!